Well, if it's Tuesday, we're in the collector's attic again. Now, the, the last few weeks, we've been doing engine kits. We have. Because engines are just cool, mm -hmm. and we're not going to let you down. This week, we're doing the biggest of them. We've been doing quarter scale, and you would think that nothing would be bigger than quarter scale. This is bigger than quarter scale. Are we ready? It's right here. Now, actually, the scale isn't bigger, but boy, the, the market was, because <laughs> this is 24th scale. And Revel, who bought out Renwall, who was doing the Visible V8s, started doing these great parts packs. Wow. And, and they did them in 24th scale because then you could stick them in your 24th scale model. That's cool. Everything's chrome. This is a Chrysler turbine engine. Wow. Do you remember when Chrysler thought that turbines were going to be the future? They were the thing. The railroads were doing turbines mm -hmm. and all, and they were the engine of the future. They had a couple of downsides. The, the car they built around this engine that Chrysler built had an exhaust pipe that looked like the one on the original Batmobile. It was like this big around. Just what you need. And the gas, gases coming out of it were heated to over 2,000 degrees. Wow, that's So if anybody that walked one. behind your car, that's the last thing you were ever going to do. Yeah, bring out the chicken. It was noisy. A little bit. And it burned about a gallon of fuel every minute. Wow. So it, it never went into production, needless to say. <laughs> but it, it made an impact, and people looked at it, and it showed up at car shows and the World's Fair and just all kinds of places. That, was, that was the Black New Deal. You're standing back of that, and you Boosh. turn into sod. Yeah, it's like, why are you on fire? <laughs> Is that the cool man. new thing to do? The Burning Man <laughs> the burning or woman, man. depending on who. Toasty. <laughs> But this parts pack yeah. is, is really cool, and they did so many of these parts packs, and they even did parts packs for their eight scale cars. So you could put a roll bar, or mm. put, a, put a supercharger on your V8, and you had all these different parts oh, packs. That's cool. But this one was completely unique. I don't think they ever offered the turbine. I could be wrong if, if you know of something, comment on that. Yeah. But I don't think they ever offered this in a kit. But if you wanted to drop this in your Chevy, you know, Chevelle, you could put a Chrysler turbine engine in your Chevelle, or you could build a Batmobile, which the reason That'd the Batmobile cool. had the turbine, because it was supposed to be, a, you know, power to turbines, turbines to speed. You remember exactly. that line from the TV show? Yes. This engine. Wow. One of the things that's really neat about this is one of the developers of this engine we just ran into when we were looking at the Gunlock Waterfalls. We did. <laughs> so we're down there and we're just wandering around the grocery store. Is it... Uh, Hurricane. What's the name of that grocery Lins. store? Lynn's. Lynn's <laughs> Grocery Store in Hurricane. Don't say yes. Hurricane. In Hurricane. Hurricane. And walking the other way is Jim Keeler. Yeah, like old home week. Hey, hi. Who, who had the attic that I got the visible chassis out of. And it's like, ah, oh, so we're there talking and stuff. And I asked him, I said, do you still have that uh, turbine? Because he took one of these and he stuck it in a Model T. And it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful models I've ever oh, seen. Oh, my goodness. I want to see that. Diamond type. You, you will because he's bringing it to the GSL. Oh, good. And I said, I, you know, we're going to shoot it up for the show. But it's the GSL uh, Model Car Championship is in Salt Lake City, uh, May 1st ish. Somewhere so go to their there. website, yeah. GSL Model Car There's Championship. There's so much going on right now. Oh, it's busy, busy with mm, the big boy calendars and full. Oh. Anyway, the GSL is here in just just under a month, mm. and the Turbine Tug, Turbine Tub, not Tug, the Turbine Tub. It's a tub. Uh, it's a it's a T tub hot rod. With a turbine engine. Wow. It's really well done. Neat. But since he kind of was on the team that, that built this little guy, he thought it would be fun to stick it in a Model T and make a street rod well, out of it. Well, that's just cool. So these engine kits aren't just big scale, visible, blah, 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 whatever. They come in a lot of different... But with the Renoir parts packs, that's one of the things they did was a whole bunch of engines, including the incredibly radical experimental turbine engine, the engine of the future. Neat. It says. Isn't wow. that neat? That's really cool. It's just so cool. So we'll be seeing the the the, the turbine tub at the GSL. Oh, well, we'll video that. that. That'll be really cool. <laughs> we'll show you guys too. Sure. 
Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe because it'll make you cool and you want to be cool. That's right. And you want to be notified whenever we upload something <laughs> silly or fun or interesting. We're always silly. Or educational or boring yeah. or whatever it is. Never boring. And never boring. Never boring. <laughs> Silly, but never boring. And the easy way to become a subscriber is to click on the blue button. Are we ready? Zunk! That blue button right there. Mm -hmm. That'll make you a subscriber. <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with the Driving Around Show. Mm -hmm. We'll see you. Bye. -bye. Bye.